today's lesson where we are going to look at how to create a brochure and we have a final product so let me begin by creating a folder here and then i open my folder inside my folder i'm going to create a publisher document file so microsoft publisher document i can name it brochure i open it so that we get started so when you open your publication here you can now follow the guiding question they are telling us to use desktop publishing software to prepare brochure for jk computer center with the following details they are giving us the details compute company name motto location address telephone contact etc introduction what jk center is services they are offering and then on the instructions they are telling us to divide uh, each page into three panels so we can have our page divided into three panels so i can go to page design under page design i can put my orientation to landscape after putting that to landscape i can click file print then at this point i need one page so here i need it into a4 all this should be emphasized a4 so that it is one page then here titled one page per sheet so at that point you can save changes so that when you are to print your brochure is on one page so we are going to split our page into three equal parts we can use text boxes shapes so under insert we go to shapes i can pick for example rounded rectangles i can have one drawn there i can have this distributed all through i can have that one there okay on there another one there another one there so in case they are big you can reduce them in size so that your work is fitting on one page i mean it's fitting within the required measurements for the master page so something like that so within this we can go ahead and enter the given details in, into the suitable panels so the details are here so we can have the first panel containing what jk computer center is so we can copy this information we come to this panel we right click and add text we can paste this text there so this we can work with it uh, we can have it say in some good font font size yeah we can look at the font that is good so we can get a better font here if i can use that maybe i center company name we can even bold that I can put this below uh, we can go ahead and bold the motto we can put it below location this one can also be put below address we can locate it below telephone contact email address yes something like that okay then in the next panel we can have the introduction about jk jk computers so here we can right click add text after pasting yeah, you copy okay so here we can paste the text uh, we can increase font size
okay something like that we can also put it to center that is about jk computers then in the last panel we have services offered we cannot have them included in this other panel add text we paste it we can increase its font size we can also have it centered something like that this all depends on your design so having done that you can also change the font size to the font type to whatever suits you so that your work is appealing so i can for example have introduction maybe i can choose a font color say green services offered i can for example put them with that kind of color I can have my headings bolded with a different font style services offered that one we can also have okay yes so at this very point we are told to use appropriate images fonts background in the brochure so i can have this brochure with a different background color so under format shape i can get i can say this is my background color for this here we can get a different background color and maybe here i can have also a different background color so the design is upon the person who is designing so here we are and then we are supposed to put appropriate images these images are in a folder we can locate them and we put these images in the support files so we can have these images which are in support files so here are the images so these images we can have them into our brochure jk computers here we have one so i can copy this or i go to insert picture then i locate where my pictures are stored so i can look for that for example you may need to put my logo somewhere there i can do text wrap for example i can say through yes company name this one can be below yeah there i can put the logo yes then here we can have more images distributed i can for example have an image here services offered uh, we can have say this we can reduce the image we can have this say somewhere here So we can have our image around there then we can put another image there about jk computers we can have this image let's say put somewhere there Okay, we can have another image put maybe at the bottom there which other image let's say this let's 
Yeah, we can put this at the bottom here. Yeah. Okay, that's how we have distributed our images, font color, and all that. Then they are telling you to add your name and personal number, save your brochure. So this shouldn't take all that long. So here our brochure is done. If you click file, print, our brochure is on one page. If your printer is printing colored, your brochure should have the appropriate colors. Okay, so this is how we can design a branch where you can go ahead and put a background color behind. So here we can go under page design. We can choose uh, can choose a background color here using uh, the master page. So under view, we can put we can go to the master page and draw a text box here. We can draw a text box here, which we can use to give uh, a background color. So here, shape fill, we can get uh, a general background color. For example, I can put that, that is too dark, let it be light. Let's say I apply this and I go to master page, I close that, that is the background color behind. So if this one is colliding with the one in front, you can decide to change this shape fill. We can say, say we put this to that kind of color. Yeah, something like that. So your design matters. So we can put our headers and footers to ensure that this work is very unique from one another. So add your name and personal number as a footer. So we can go to insert and then we want to put our headers, I mean our footer. So here we click footer and at this point you can put your name and then I close the master page. So the foot appears there. If you want it to the right, you can as well do that. So this is how best we can design a brochure within minutes. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more updates on such video lessons. Dear bless.